guys today. This is Dom, Dominic, right? Yep. And somehow he's friends with Adam Christensen. <laughs> so I just want to explain this to you, and I'm sure this is going to happen. This is full show Dominic. <laughs> this is half show Adam Christensen. Well, are we going to change that? We're going to change that. We're going to change it to full show? We're going to get two full shows. Two full shows. Maybe three. Oh, three. Now you're really pushing it. It's going to be a banger, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna be kind of interesting uh, vessel that you have there, yes. right? What is it? What's it called? A picker boat? It's called a picker boat. Okay. Um, we're going to go check this thing out. I, in my life, have only ever seen one of these ever. But supposedly, you guys on the Mississippi, it's pretty common. It's going absolutely awesome. Anytime I'm out fishing with you, uh, and you know, and we get to meet another great person that Dominic that just loves and passionate about the outdoors and has figured out a way to get to a spot where not a lot of people can get to, I love it. Absolutely. So let's we're gonna be fishing basin crappies here. So these crappies are in this basin. We're gonna be moving around a little bit when we get it really get it dialed in. If we can get, pinpoint them and keep them in that way, we're gonna set up the 650 yep. and do a little fishing absolutely. out of that. But right now there's no wind. It's absolutely beautiful out. The wind's supposed to pick up a little bit later. But this is one of them areas where these crappies are absolutely stacked up and they're big crappies. And that's yeah. what we're looking for. We're looking for a giant crappie today. Yeah, there is, uh, it's, uh, there's quite a few, uh, you know, 12 to 15 potentially even bigger fish in here. Yeah, so it's interesting. We're looking for some big girls. Uh, we're gonna be throwing spoons at them like you mentioned and uh, maybe some jigs and plastics a little bit too. Yo, the rattle master. Woo! Ready to rock and roll. I'm excited. Yes, it is. There we go. At a 90. Feels good. First fish of the morning. Ooh, nice fish, too. Real nice. Get the old Vexy out. There we go. Nice way to start the morning off. No bait, just the old rattle master. Perfect right there. You know, I'm going to keep probably about 10 or 12 of these to eat, and that's a perfect size. But we are looking for a crappie today in that 15 range, and that's, that's a big crappie. I don't know. You know, a lot of people say they catch 15s all the time. In Wisconsin but I, I don't see a lot of 15s you know 15 to 16s are pretty rare uh, we do catch them but uh, definitely that's a, a trophy to me but that's a perfect eater right there it's about you know probably 10 to 11 incher he's gonna get eaten oh it's a tank dude beautiful way to start the morning ate that jig in plastic pan fishing in general is very cool and we catch a lot of perch on Winnebago but crappies, there's a lot of crappies on the lake, but they're hard to find. There's just a very mysterious panfish. I'm gonna let this guy go. Got a good one? It's a good eater, that's it. Bigger than I thought. Another one? Let that one go. <laughs> That's about as big as I'd want to keep. Like I said, I'm going to keep about a dozen of them because we're going up to our cabin tonight and uh, staying over there and fishing with Adam tomorrow. In the, but look at that. I'm going to let this guy go. Too big. Just getting them to come up, come up, come up. <laughs> Dominic's got one too. This is some incredible. That's another perfect eater right there. Nice and thick, too. These are healthy fish. Look at that. On that one. Still got a pile of them down here. You know, the big thing to remember, too, you guys, like these are all fish. This is the bottom right here. These are all fish. When you're dropping down, this is me dropping down. Never, ever drop down into that school. Always stay above them. And I try to stay above them at least a couple of feet right here. See, that, there's me going down. I'm right there. This is me right here. Now I'm going to stay above them and get, see, now look at that one come racing right out of the school. And there he is, 
right there. Oh yeah, it is a good one. There we go. Nice fish again. Again, it's the cadence, you know, being able to watch them on the Vexlar come up like that and be able to pull, pull them fish up. You know, trying to get them aggressive is really what it's all about right there. It's a decent one. Not a dang, it's just not very big. Another beautiful one, perfect eater. Hey guys, just wanted to give you a little quick tip here. Uh, so one of my absolute favorite baits out there when it comes to ice fishing, whether it's crappies, perch, bluegills, doesn't really matter, especially on the Mississippi, but they work everywhere I've ever tried them, is uh, the BY Baits Freshwater Shrimp. They have several different profiles. This happens to be my personal go-to. It is just an awesome bait with awesome action and uh, it'll help you put more fish topside. Oh, oh, oh. You got going there, Dominic. Ooh, Ooh, that's a good one. Dominic, nice job. Feels really good. <laughs> Enough where I'm going to get the Vexy out of the hole. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Hold that one up, Adam. Fish, buddy. Jeepers, creepers. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, you know, how do you find these guys like Dominic? You know, what a great guy. You know what, unique boat, uh, you know, it loves to fish. He told me before that basically concrete's all summer long. Yep. So he's working his living hinder off. And then he's got the winters off, obviously, because they're not pouring concrete and uh, loves to ice fish and he's going to start doing some ice guiding, huh? Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Let's let that one go so here. Huh, you think you're so good, huh? <laughs> Doubled up. Doubled up. This isn't the biggest one, but it's a teeny eeny weeny. What do you got there, Adam? Oh, this one goes back in. Look at the way they're eating that thing. They are loving the blue freshwater shrimp. Slab seeker, little maker slab seeker, pink. Probably one of my favorite gigs this year. Me too, little guy. Oh double. oh, double again. I'm loving these doubles. Double trouble. Oh, ho, ho. reverse species. Bluegill. Oh, that's a good one. Holy samoli. Whoa. Now that is absolutely, Dominic, let's talk about that because that's exactly why we came here. We caught a lot of fish so far, especially Dominic, right? But we were looking for that crappie that was in that 15 inch range. And I'll tell you what, that probably is right there. Pretty close, I would say. That is absolutely a giant crappie right there. That's what's cool about crappies. You know, like a walleye, you're always after that, that 30 incher. And I kind of look at like a crappie, like you're always after that 15 incher. When you showed me that picture of that 16, was that over 16? Yeah, 16. 16 and a half, that's absolutely a giant. But boy, how long do you think this one is right here? Or only 14? Holy, gosh, you just look at that. I mean, you would think that crappie would be more than 14. That's crazy. Hey, nice job. It's only lunchtime yet. But this is what happens when Larry brings Leroy's meat sticks around me. Offshore, oh, so good. There he is, I got him. Got him to come up quite a ways. I had missed him, hooked him, and I dropped back down there and got him to convince him, that's a nice one, convinced him to bite again. The old trickeroni. Again, no bait. Hey, did you catch one? I got one, Adam. You got one too? Yeah. 
You know, fishing makes a guy awful happy. I'm gonna tell you, and probably a lot of ladies too, right? So why would people want to take this away from us, right? Just don't understand it. Oh, that is a good one. Hey everybody, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, this morning this bite was definitely on fire. And you know, Dominic was saying that obviously if it would have been a cloudy day, these fish would have stayed tight. But what they did, that sun came up and they definitely scattered and they got super spooky. So I'll tell you one thing that definitely makes a big difference. When you go to a hole and you're dropping your Vexler down there and you see fish down there, and all of a sudden you're dropping your jig down there, and by the time it gets close to the fish, they're gone. The next time you do that and go to another hole and you mark fish, a big thing is you see there's fish down there, shut your Vexler off, start dropping your bait down to where you figure it's close to where the fish are at, and then turn the Vexler back on. And if you have that option to go to low power, definitely go to low power. Anytime you're dealing with fish that are very temperamental, you know what, they feel that pulse on them. And again, when that bait's not in front of them where they can at least concentrate on that bait a little bit, you know what, these fish by the time you get down there are gonna be gone a lot of times. So that is a great tip, I guess, when you wanna catch more fish for sure. So this week's tip of the week, again, brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Got to have this thing. This thing's got my name written all over it. So it does, once you get going, that just grabs and that lifts that whole thing right up right there, huh? That's interesting how that just rises up like that. This one you think you're the coolest guy in the block? That happens. Unbelievable. I will have one. By this time next year, I'll have one. Maybe even two. Yeah, it was in a little bit of a slump, folks. Ho, ho, ho. Big old gilly. Gotta love that right there. On the old rattle master, the master of rattle, the rattle master. You know, I've been marking a lot of fish and these guys are definitely outdoing me and they're using plastic. So again, I'm gonna hook that plastic right on there. I'm gonna go with that presentation first. If not, I'm gonna hook it right straight through the one of the barbs. That's to see. Sometimes they get a little finicky, you gotta go with the flow. There's, I got them down there. Check out that one. Absolute dandy. Beautiful fish. That's what we're up here for right there. Shoulders? Boogie, I think. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, I about had it. That was a nice one. Big deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The bite is on. That's a nice one, Dom. Hey, guys. So, a couple quick tips. Uh, just to help you put a few more fish topside something that can be very important when these fish are being finicky and not just crappies I do this for perch on the river do it for bluegills on the river do it for crappies wherever I'm at um, When they get a little bit moody this can be very important when you catch a fish your jig is sitting weird like that What you want to do is grab that knot And pull it down just like that so that your bait sits horizontal that can be very, very important for these finicky fish sometimes. It can make a huge, huge difference. Uh, a lot of days that is the difference between catching fish and not catching fish. Most guys that are really, really good at ice fishing, it's not one thing they're doing drastically different, it's a hundred little things. After right there, beautiful. Let's let this girl go, turn into a mega giant. 
Hi guys, tip of the week. Even though it's as simple as this, just keeping your rod at a 90 degree angle. I see so many anglers that are out there fishing that do not keep their rod at 90. When these fish are finicky and they are barely biting that, barely biting their, that bait, you want to watch that rod tip. And keeping that rod at a 90 degree angle helps you see the most lightest bites when the crappie are being finicky. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, another stud. BY Bates, freshwater shrimp. Getting the job done today. You know, I said, if you can catch six more, I'll cook you up our Leroy lunch break, right? We'll have some good brats, make you happy. And the man just literally went from like, like it almost like it looked like he pounded like six sun drops. He went from hole to hole to hole to hole and he really motivated him. Oh, elk, elk crapola. Doesn't even have the straps on his shack. I leave mine because then you can pull them on them, pull on them real easy. Yeah, really. We got a guy that's uh, supposed to be putting the anchors in, but. You got under you. Well, just putting in the old quick adapter and we are ready to set some anchors in the old 650 layer. That sounds good, buddy. These adapters are awesome. Don't gotta carry another drill with you. Don't gotta monkey with nothing. It's, it's almost like the days when you had a Harley and you were waving to the guy on a bike. You see another warrior on the water, you just get a good view. First class all the way from the people that ride them to the people that make them. They do such a nice job with communication. They'll pick up the phone anytime. It's it's really almost a friendship. You could be in any state and when somebody with a warrior drives by you, you get that honk, that beep. You're truly part of a family and there's nothing like it. Introducing Forever Barnwood. Transform your space with the warmth and character of a genuine Barnwood look. Forever Barnwood offers over 200 authentic Barnwood products. We are commercial and food safe. Our products are available in unlimited quantities while still providing the consistency you need to complete large projects. All of this while still looking like it came out of a hundred year old barn. Forever Barnwood, bring the history inside. Hey everybody, welcome to our Leroy lunch break. And this is probably one of the few times in the last couple weeks we're actually going to have lunch at right around noon today, which is, to me, when you're hungry, you're hungry, that's when lunchtime is. Hey, I'll tell you what, here is another interesting flavor from our good friends over at Leroy's. We have the mushroom and onion, and they're also going to be bringing in a pack, of course, of the buck and bites. These guys go absolutely crazy over these brats, and I'll tell you what, it's one of them kind of things where, what a great way to mix up the day. So we're gonna have a little lunch here, go back and see if we can get that 15 inch crappie. Biggest one we got so far, 14 and a half. Let's see if we can beat that today. Hey, again, our Leroy lunchtime. If you guys are looking at great products, make sure you guys check out Leroy Meats in Horicon and Fox Lake. Over 60 different flavors of brats and many, many other great products. Hey, behind the camera today, we have the one and only, the new, the new guru of all gurus, yep, Max. Max has never had a buck and bite brat. We'll have to see what he thinks of that. Mmm, so good and tasty. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Adam, let's tell everybody how they can get a hold of both you and uh, Dominic if they want to come out and enjoy some really great crappie fishing. Yeah, absolutely. Adam Christensen, AdrenalineAnglingGuideService.com. Give us a follow on Facebook. We're posting reports almost every day. Give me a call, 608-451-2986. Is yours? Instagram and TikTok and Facebook is all DF Outdoors. And just get a hold of Adam and we'll set you up on some crappies. Hey, I gotta say one more thing to you guys like I do each and every week. 
We always want to thank all of our military men and women for the great service they have given this country and continue to give this country. Hey, the other day I was going through TikTok and I saw, you know, obviously Toby Keith died. And one of my favorite songs by Toby Keith is The American Soldier. Boy, did I get choked up. I had tears in my eyes thinking about how fortunate we are here. If you are in this country and don't think you are living in the greatest country in the world, something's wrong. I'll tell you, there's a lot of things wrong in this country that need to be corrected, but still, there's no other place greater than the, the, the United States of America. I'll tell you something, this country is worth fighting for to keep our freedoms, to be able to do these kind of things, the things that we love to do, and we need to treat each other with respect and love this country. Also wanna thank all of our firefighters and paramedics for the great service they give this country, along with all of our law enforcement agents. Hey everybody, it is a great day to be alive. We appreciate you guys joining us this week. And the best part is, we're gonna see you guys and gals again next week, and thanks for joining us. Well, Eric, don't be shy. Okay, if you're shy, I wanna hook you in the lip. We'll get your friends. Big gill, big thrill. Larry, what are you munching on? Nothing. What? You have cookies and cream? Mm, no. Hey, poopy pants. Yeah. How you doing, little poopy? <laughs> Adam Christensen, funny man. I love that guy. Give him a big hug. <laughs> Ooh, Dominic. The Don Man. Crappy. I had a one that just broke my rod here. Oh my God. That Kmart line, he says, oh yeah, they're not even in business anymore. That's how old that line is. <laughs> Dave Gans once told me, it doesn't matter what color you got on, as long as it's gold. As long as it's gold.